this channel. No. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, my name is Reese. This is my beauty channel where we come to slay, especially on a budget. And today I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different. It's going to be my own little photo shoot that I curated. I posted these picnic pictures. Um, I used my new camera. I decided to get like make a little picnic photo shoot and do it all by myself. And everybody was asking, oh my gosh, how do you film? What do you use? How did you set it up? How do you use a self timer? Dot dot doop, bitty bop bop boop. So I'm here to answer all questions and I actually did another photo shoot similar to it because I didn't film the first one and I feel like filming it and visually seeing it, it can help you guys out a little bit better. So if you guys wanna know how I created this photo shoot, this picnic photo shoot in my backyard by myself, everything i'm the creative director the photographer the model the stylist everything then stay tuned bye all righty you guys so um before we get right into it this video is brought to you by teeny I've been working with them for a couple months now and I'm trying out their new tea because I am into, you know, different teas and different skincare, anything self care. I am down to try. So I'm trying their colon tea. At, at first when I heard colon, I thought like if I drink it, it's gonna go right through me, but it doesn't. So this tea is actually really good. I'm actually a tea drinker that does not put honey in my tea anymore. I do it plain. I love the taste of tea. So this tea doesn't taste that bad. Like it tastes really good. It tastes refreshing. I feel more energized. I feel more just, you know, healthy. It, and then it came with this cool little tumbler, but it comes with this little cute thing that you put your tea bags in. I put some lemon and I let it sit for like about 10 minutes. It tastes really good and especially with the lemon it tastes amazing I tried it a couple times I'm gonna continue to uh, drink this tea so definitely check out teamy products down in the description and use my code to get some money off all right so we're gonna get right back into this video so where do we start? So I ended up going to Trader Joe's first and getting a bunch of flowers. And I'll probably insert some clips. Okay, for sure. And then I basically did my makeup, picked out an outfit. Mind you, I had this in my head all yesterday of what I was gonna wear. And I was gonna wear all white, this cute little hat. I'm wearing, I wore this little slick back style. Everybody loved the hair that I wore for the first photo shoot. Honestly, it's a synthetica, so I don't like wearing synthetic wigs all the time. So I decided to do this black hair with this photo shoot. You have to have patience in the full day to do this photo shoot because this photo shoot took a while is very it can be very irritating so please have patience when you're taking photos i took like 200 photos and only picked like three pictures that i liked <laughs> so have patience i will probably insert what kind of camera and um, tripod that i'm using again this is more expensive uh, you can still do this with your iphone and a little tripod and just have a self timer i've been doing it for years before i invested into a canon eos r so you can do this with your phone as well go to trader joe's or your your grocery store get some flowers get cute baskets from dollar tree fill it up all that I'll, i'm gonna show you guys everything and do a little voiceover so bye so this is my backyard you guys i need to stay in the shade so i either gonna go right here because the bricks i don't want in the way or 
the bricks are in my way. So you guys, I am using the Canon EOS R. So Canon EOS R with the 50 minute 50 mm lens and then you have to buy the little attachment pretty good money on this so yeah so this is the camera I'm gonna be using and this is the tripod this is like a heavy duty tripod I spent like a good amount of money on this tripod very expensive but it's all worth it so we're gonna take some pictures so you guys I am out here my makeup is done kind of I struggle with my eyelashes but it's okay but I'm setting up my camera and we're gonna set up a picnic area right here so you guys I'm gonna be setting up this picnic area I'm going to first cut up the fruits and create a little aesthetic so these things you can literally get at Dollar Tree including the wine glass get a couple fruits maybe four different fruits that matches your theme um, so I wanted to do a more yellow red and add a hint of green to it my last photo shoot was more of a green aesthetic so this time it's gonna be a yellow aesthetic so I bought some lavender I bought tulips because it's yellow and then I bought those other flowers I totally forgot what they're called but I'll link them down below everything will be listed down below what I used including the links and the blanket all that so now that I got everything set up I'm going to connect my phone to my camera so that's how I was able to see how it looks visually in my phone if you don't have a camera use your phone it is gonna be a little bit more work but I was able to do it these past couple years and it works for me so you can definitely do this with your iPhone just have a self timer or a little Bluetooth clicker and that's basically it by the way I did use a two second timer so I can hide my phone um, that's just an easy way you could do that with your iPhone do the three second timer and hide your clicker so yeah definitely invest in one of those little clicker Bluetooth clickers Right, you guys so after I took photos I basically let me let me show you guys let me screen record this all right you guys so I took a bunch of photos as you can see and um, I only favorite a couple of them let me go to my favorites so these are the favorites that I have so it's quite a few I thought I took really bad photos to be honest because I wasn't as confident as how I felt the first time I did the picnic photo shoot so um, I'm kind of surprised I was able to find some cute photos so here's some photos that I took I love these you just gotta feel you just gotta feel it y'all and take a bunch of photos even though you feel like dang I'm tired take more just do it keep on doing it take as many as you can so then you can narrow have more options so these are all the photos that I like so I'm gonna go into Lightroom I already have a preset available for me um, I have a preset already let me know if I should like you know charge charge for my presets this preset is like a little secret cuz I worked real hard trying to find this preset and perfect it to my aesthetic for my Instagram feed so I'm gonna select I'm on select mode I'm gonna go to my favorites and I'm gonna select all the photos that I favorite I'm gonna select them wall add so it's gonna be ooh. still going all right now that I got these um this is another photo that I have I'm going to actually copy the settings to this photo because I use the same exact editing style for all my photos so it can be cohesive on my Instagram 
so I don't really like this photo because my mouth is open. Let me find something I actually really like. Maybe this one is cute. So we're going to paste the settings. And look at how gorgeous this is. Like this. Ooh! This is bomb. Okay, we're going to add the same preset. Paste. It takes a while. Okay, I'm digging these photos now. When you add that pre presets um, on Lightroom, it just does something to the photo. Like, look at how cute these are. Um, I don't really like these. I don't know why I favored some of these, to be honest, because I don't really like them. I don't like this one or that one. This one's cute. We're gonna see what it looks like with the pre preset. Ooh, it just creates that vibe. Oh, yes, paste, yes, yes, paste. Okay, I done, look y'all, I done upgraded my freaking Instagram. Like I done upgraded my whole like, social media presence because this is just bomb. But that's basically it. I don't use Facetune like that anymore. I just add my presets and just post the photo because I don't want to do too much to the photo. I want it to feel real like you're there and that camera does that so yeah that's basically it so you guys that's basically it that's how i created my picnic photo shoot i try to stick with one color so either beige or white is the main clothes and colors from a background that i like green sometimes and blue is optional i either go back and forth with green and blue but those are my main aesthetics that i try i studied a lot I studied a lot. I downloaded Pinterest to give me ideas. So definitely, I hope this video helped. Yeah, you guys, don't forget to check out Teamy products. Um, you know, I'm sponsored by them. And yeah, support your girl by, you know, purchasing something through a link or something. Or check out my Amazon store. That helps me a lot. And you can buy whatever you want because it's Amazon. But yeah so thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more videos i love you guys so much bye